Season 5 comes alive! Scouting is going to explode! Hey, Scouter Stan, welcome to Season 5. We have 24 really good episodes between now and Christmas. And it's going to be a lot of fun. So I hope that you are in for it. And uh, I want to jump right into it and talk a little bit about scouting of the past. In my day, I remember parades. I remember actually waving a flag as a Cub Scout in a parade in a small town. I remember that. I remember as a scout going to the local cemetery and putting flags on all of the military markers that were there, signifying our respect for Memorial Day. I even remember wearing my uniform to church. <laughs> okay? Even when we were, when my brother and I were in the choir, we would do the Scout Sunday. We went in uniform and we wore the robes over <laughs> the uniform. That was something that was part of my life. And it should be part of the life of many of today's youth. Now that we're living in a post-pandemic world, we're tired of being locked up. So we want to get out and do things, especially the youth. Lots of research has pointed to kind of a resurgence of scouting worldwide. It is becoming more and more predominant of the focus for a lot of youth. Because of that, let's don't blend in and disappear. Let's get out there. Let's get in the community and start doing things for the youth, for our community. Scouting is for all, in all youth, all peoples, all adults. Everyone can be involved in scouting. But if you are hiding a unit, you're not out in the community, you're not doing things, you're not really helping the scouting, and you're not servicing the community that you're a part of. A big recruitment movement is going on right now for a lot of schools. We're getting ready to go back into the schools and start promoting scouting, doing those sign-up nights that everyone has missed over this long pandemic time. I encourage all adult leaders to ask the principal of the school to promote all scouts to wear their uniform to school so that they can show that they're involved to other youth that want to get involved. So get with the principal and make those arrangements so that they can encourage that promotion. I know that when I was in school, every single photograph that I have of me in school, I'm in uniform. It was a way of promoting it. At the same school, ask about doing a scout luncheon. So when they do the lunchtime in the cafeteria, those in uniform can go and have lunch with their students, with the, the students and the, the parents of those students can go and have lunch together. And that way they, the, the youth can actually see scout leaders in action. It's not like it's a big deal. It's something where you're getting noticed, and that's the important part. We need to get out into our communities and start promoting the good things in scouting, about going out to camp and doing all the adventures that we like to do. We need to do that by being seen. So in that in that regard, us adult leaders need to take more active uh, participation in our school. That means going to the school board in uniform. Now, I'm not saying go political, okay? Scouting supersedes any of that, okay? Just being there as an alternative to parents looking for 
good moral guidance, which scouting provides, that would be a wonderful thing. You don't go political in uniform, <laughs> okay? Pol politics is not scouting, okay? We don't do that, okay? We try to stay as neutral as possible. But going to the PTA meeting, uh, being involved in teacher conference, in meet the teacher kind of things, those are things that adult leaders can be involved in. Always remind yourself that scouting transcends politics, so don't go political while in uniform. Any other time, you're free to be as political as you are comfortable with. But when you're in uniform, you want to think of more of a, a deeper meaning to all of it. Okay, So scouting transcends politics. Scouting is not behind closed doors. In fact, we need to hold that door open for everyone. Be prepared to receive new scouts, new parents getting involved. That's when you need to shine your best and be your best in scouting is having that uh, application, that new parent uh, flyer, the, all of the things that are needed for a good membership drive. And by the way, that's year round, okay? <laughs> all the time. You need to be promoting scouting and be ready to receive new parents and new scouts. Very important. Never be afraid to wear the uniform. Let me tell you about an instance that happened to me. It was probably while my son was in his final years in a scout troop. And it was, it was something that was witnessed by other people in the troop, other adult leaders. I was in the store. We were, we were coming back from, I think it was we were hiking or something, and I was in the store, and I was getting the scouts out. They were getting their stuff so they could get a little treat or something uh, on the way uh, home from a, from a camp out. And as we're getting everybody out of the place, and it was we have a pretty sizable troop, I have this voice behind me say, thank you for your service. And I'm thinking, oh. Uh, they mistaken me for being somebody in the military. And honestly, I was thinking of turning around and saying, well, I'm not in the military or anything. So it's, it's the uniform. I turn around, it's a Marine. Okay? It's a Marine telling this to me. And I am stunned. I'm actually shocked. Looking at this young Marine, and he's thanking me for my service. Now, that's normally what I do I thank them for their service all the time. He's thanking me. And he says, I'm an Eagle Scout. And I'm choked up at that point. I can't even talk. And I'm just looking at him. He says, I never thanked my Scoutmaster. This is all because I had a uniform on. Because I, the Scouts were running around with your uniform in this, in this store. Here's this Marine telling this to me. Stunned. I'm absolutely stunned. So I couldn't talk, so I put my hand out. Guess what? He goes, uh-uh. <laughs> he gives me the scout handshake. I was just like, oh, you know, yeah, of course, he's an Eagle Scout. You know, that was, it was very special. And I, I think of those, those moments. They happen, and they should mean something in your life. And because I was in uniform, he thanked me because he could not thank his scoutmaster uh, for all the service that he had done uh, to help him towards Eagle. So that's something that's big. We need to give that opportunity. And there's a lot of people that come up to me. I'll go into a grocery store after a meeting or something, and they'll say, I want to get my son involved in scouting. How do I do that? Well, I, I send... I. I get their, their information, and I get them involved. I recruit. I recruit all the time. All of us should. And we are needed more now than ever before. Remember to have calling cards, uh, information packets, flyers, uh, even applications. You need to have all that stuff available all the time with all of your leaders 
in your unit. That way, when you invite them to come visit your pack, your troop, your crew, they will have all that stuff filled out and ready to go. So when they get to the meeting, they become a scout that night. Think about that. And never, ever miss the opportunity to also recruit the parents. Now there's one more thing that we can do as adult leaders. A lot of us cannot wear the uniform when we go to work. We wear a suit or a tie, suit and tie, something that's work appropriate. Check to see if you can wear a scout pin. If you're an eagle mom or dad or grandparent, make sure that you could wear that pin. Okay? Every Monday is a scout pin day. Okay? Every Monday. The reason for that, uh, 7 o'clock on Monday seems to be the number one time for meetings. <laughs> 7 o'clock on a Monday. Uh, it seems to be a national trend. There's a lot of units that don't, but Monday seems to be a big day for meetings. So, Scout Pin Monday. I recommend that you get one and wear it, okay? Check with your work. See if you can. And uh, try to show your pride. You'll be surprised. Other coworkers will strike up a conversation because they were scouts. Or they want to get their sons and daughters involved in scouting in some regard and you can be that help. So keep that in mind. I know you guys do an awful lot of work. I missed you while I was away, but I had a lot of fun. <laughs> so uh, keep me uh, in your prayers, and I will see you on the trail.